So today's exciting day, we're going to fit our new Ironman front suspension, and then tonight we're going up the mountain to see a meteor shower. While Johnny gets on with that, I unbox our new Vito Man portable power station to do some remote work, editing our previous video. Not only am I going to use our Jump 2200 to charge my laptop, but I'm also going to use it to charge our camera batteries for this evening's filming. And seeing that my phone is only on 4% battery, I plug that in too. Two hours later. So that's one side done. Took a little bit longer than expected. But we're in. Everything's tight. Just got to put the wheel back on. And then move on to the other side. Yay. One hour later. So that's the second shot in, done. Last couple of bolts to do up and we're all good. How are you getting on? Just putting the wheels back on. Look at your face. You look like you've been to war. <laughs> I basically have on this bloody truck. It's getting dark. That's a figment of your imagination. I don't think we're going to be going up the mountain tonight. I think tomorrow will be a better idea. Yeah, tomorrow will be a better idea. It's supposed to be today and tomorrow, so maybe we'll just stay here on the farm and get some shots here. Is that the car done? I'll go and get back to my time lapse outside then. Have you seen Trixie? No, have you? No. Oh. Guess I'll go for a walk then. Oh, it's the farm cat. Hi, farm cat. She came with the farm. She doesn't have a name, so if anybody wants to name our cat, comment below. Right, I better go and find this dog. Because it is getting dark. She does like to wander off. Trixie! Are you coming, cat? Is that a yes? Okay, come on then. You won't like it when we find the dog, though. Oh, blimey. Hopefully she's not all the way at the lake. Trixie! There she is. 
Come on. Where have you been? Don't just trot past me. Where have you been, Trixie? Answer yourself. Hmm? Bye then. Come on. Into the barn. Or should I say workshop? Because now the floor's painted. It's pretty much a workshop now. Don't you go wandering off again. While Johnny does those finishing touches to the car, I sit and watch the landscape go dark in anticipation to see some meteors tonight. Plugged in the Veto Man to charge it up, ready for our off-roading trip up the mountain. Two hours later. And it's charged to 100%. So we load the Veto Man into the car, quickly water the trees, then set off on our stargazing expedition. join us on the way to the Estachel de Biodiversidad do Cavalhau, otherwise known as in English, the Station of Biodiversity of Cavalhau. I've probably absolutely ruined the name so I'm really sorry. We're just on a bit of tarmac road at the moment. Making our way to an off-road track. Oh, there's a sheep there. I think you should be out, mate. Probably want to put on. And just here on the left is the field that burnt near our property the other day. to the trip and you can see our journey time is 15 minutes and we're going to arrive at 8.06 so not a very long journey today it's not a particularly difficult trail compared to what we've been on before it's a bit cloudy today so hopefully we're still gonna get a <laughs> hopefully we're gonna get a good view of the stars tonight and because we were filming the meteor showers and stuff last night using our cameras, we've got our new Veto Man portable power station in the back, charging some of the GoPro batteries. And not only that, but we're going to use it for a few things when we get up the mountain, aren't we? We sure are. So I'm really looking forward to what we're going to use it for, because we've got something else new as well. Oh, the terrain's getting slightly more interesting.
we moved the car because there was a slightly better view here. So we've got the time lapse going for the sunset. And these clouds do make it look pretty awesome. But hopefully they're going to clear for this evening. So what's the plan? We are going to have dinner. Nice. With a view. And you're not allowed barbecues or any fire at the moment. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to test this out. A grill from Lidl. Yeah. There be right. This portable fridge is really coming handy, isn't it? Right, so what have we got so far? We've got a light, we've got the GoPro battery charging, and now we're getting our fridge plugged in as well. Still at 100% battery and apparently 47 hours of use like this. That's even better than all the camera batteries charging that I had yesterday. Oh, some nice little chocolates. That's dessert. Actually, we've got another no, dessert. Got dessert. What have we got? We have got for dessert. Oh, nice. Tart masala, <laughs> apple tart. For one of these. Nice. I'll have one of those. You want to do this? No. Thank you. Now for the good bit, the meat. Cheers. Cheers. That'll be interesting to see how much power this uses. Got it on setting three. This is using 2000 watts. Oh wow. 2006 watts, 2012 watts. Okay, I'm glad we charged it before we came. I'm sure it's going to die down when the heat kicks in. Yeah, hopefully. But that's a good test because that uses quite a lot of power. Looks that way, yeah. Hopefully, once it gets hot, it won't be so much to maintain the heat. But the Vito man's running it. Amongst other things as well. Oh yeah, it's got a fridge on there as well and a light. And charging batteries. Just thought of something. What's that? How are we cleaning this before we take it home? Oh, I don't know. There's a font over there. We could kind of wash it in the font, but we have no soap, we have no sponge. We'll use your jacket, that'd be all right. No. Some heat coming off it now. Just gonna go and check on the camera. Oh, it's stopped. Better get it going again. This thing's up to temperature. We've just got it on setting three at the moment. Watch your hands. Put it on full blast. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, this is bright, isn't it? Yeah. Could you pass on a spatula, please? Yeah. Just sit out on a mountain top with a sunset like that. Beautiful. It's a nice meal. 
Was that a bat I just saw at the of my eye? Uh, it might have been, you know. Something just flew out. Yeah, they're either bats or birds. Have you still got this grill on full? Yeah, it's on full glass. Seems to have levelled out now. It smells good, doesn't it? It does smell good. Hopefully this doesn't lure in all the wild animals up the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> you go over by the pond, when I was there and it was daylight, you could see massive footprints from some kind of dog. Should I go and have a look? Uh, yeah, you might want to grab a torch out of the truck. Woo! It's bright. I'll just go and check, see how long the camera's got before I go to the font. 11 minutes. Where's this font then? Huh? Where's this font? The other side of the building and we'll keep walking, you'll see. You okay. Can't, you can't miss it. It's on your left if you keep walking. Go past the building and a bit further. Okay. Past the building and a bit further. I think I can hear it. There it is. Oh, there's lots of little spiders everywhere. Oh my god, they're weird. Proper weird, man. There's a lot of spiders here. Oh wow, look at all those spiders. There's a lot of spiders. I don't like this. They're everywhere. I'm leaving. I I just heard something. Didn't see any paw prints. Lots of spiders though. They were weird as well. Really skinny, long legs and little bodies. Come on bro. That's it, you go that way. See ya. Bye. Oh, it's gone up to 43 hours now. Nice. If you're interested in getting one of these Veto Man portable power stations, then click the link in this video's description. You can also use our discount code for 20% off. There's your beer. Thank you very much. Straight from the fridge, ice cold. Oh, well, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, Sound of the cricket. That's what I was about to say. Haven't got the sunset anymore, but. You know, you were talking about camping. I think this would be a perfect camp spot. It is quite a nice camp spot, yeah. I would have liked to have camped here tonight. You just set a tent up, right? There. Yeah. Got a table to eat on. The veto man for your power? Yeah. And what do you need? 20 minutes later. Nice way to spend an evening. Just dipping these into chocolate <laughs> mousse up a mountain. I was running a bit low on camera batteries, so decided to plug a couple in to charge. Then I went to see where was best to put the camera for the time lapse of the stars. Oh, there's lots of flying things. Ah, they like the light. No. I'm gonna just set it up here. Oh, I think the stars are starting to come out. Let's go.
unfortunately, this rather cool shot I got of the Milky Way was completely out of focus. I didn't realise there was a manual override setting in the time-lapse application of the camera. So we have a little break while we decide whether to stay any longer. Would you like some iced tea? No, I'm going to stick to the Portuguese water. The Portuguese water. <laughs> How long have we got left on the Veto Man? 25 hours, 59%. Let's go ahead. I'm pleased to say we did decide to stay just one more hour to capture the Milky Way. My camera even captures a meteor going right through it. There it is. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also, why not click on one of the video windows to see more? Thanks for watching.